welcome to my channel and welcome to a another day for my Halloween must have. Now this next one isn't necessarily one that I consider my Halloween must haves but I know that there are other people out there that do uh, which is really what this is. It's a collaboration of my ideas and other people's as well. Um, so I did watch the original The Evil Dead last night. Uh, not my first time watching it but it has been a little bit. I actually did just finish watching Ash versus Evil Dead uh, just like a couple days ago. If you guys haven't watched that, it's a TV show based off the movie series. Uh, unfortunately, it ended up only having three seasons, uh, which is sad because I loved the show. Uh, but anyway, so in talking about the original film, this obviously came out in the 80s, um, like very, very early 80s. Uh, which is definitely very easy to tell. Some of the, like, FX and graphics do not hold up today. Uh, it definitely can be a bit cheesy at parts, um, but it still, I think, holds up in the scare factor uh, for me. Now, Possession is not my favorite type of film, but I really like the way they do it in, I guess, the Evil Dead franchise. Um, they go really over the top with turning people into these really creepy and like disgusting demons. Um, you know, they're not just, you know, oh it's somebody you know but they still look like themselves or something like that. Uh, they really, really bring it over the top with this franchise. Um, and I really, really like that. Even if it's still not the best, like, graphics. FX uh, anymore, um, but yeah, I really do still enjoy this film. Um, I will say, obviously, there's one particular scene. Of course, I'm going to talk about it. It's the tree rape scene. <laughs> Can't talk about the Evil Dead and not talk about that scene. It's a hard scene to get through, to be honest. Um, and it's long. It, I, I forgot how long that scene is. Uh, yeah, that, that scene I'm definitely not so much a fan of, and I don't think that that's uh, something that would hold up today. Um, I know they do somewhat of a similar scene in the Evil Dead remake, uh, but it's been a minute since I've seen that. Um, I don't recall it being quite as graphic. Like I said, it's been a while since I've seen the remake too. Uh, but yeah, I that, that scene... <laughs> It's not a fan of that scene, if that scene wasn't in the film. Uh, but I mean, it does, it's, it is a scary, intense scene, so it does get that job done. Um, and I mean, it's the 80s, it's definitely a bit of a different time. Um, but yeah, it's still a great film, it's still really enjoyable, still pretty scary, and there's there are some pretty intense and scary scenes within this film. Um, so let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the Evil Dead or just the franchise in general. Um, if you are interested, I have actually already done a full review on Evil Dead 2. I did it as part of my series for reviewing horror films that my friends requested. It is requested by Danny from Horror Addicts. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below so you guys can check that out. And as always, if you did enjoy this, please do give it a big old thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more horror related content and Halloween content. I'll see you guys later with another video.